What can we actually expect from Dr. Stone in 2023? Obviously season 3 is coming up, but what'll happen after that? After season 2, manga fans could go right back to reading the manga. This is going to be the first season where it'll just end and then poof, nothing. However, there have been a number of side projects throughout the Dr. Stone franchise, so it's not like there will be an absolute drought of Dr. Stone content in between seasons 3 and 4, which is why I want to quickly go over the timeline of 2023 and figure out all of the different kinds of content we can expect. Of course, before we look at anything else, we need to look at the timeline for season 3. For starters, we need to figure out when it will start and when it will end. I did the numbers in a previous video, but then we had the Ryusui special, so just for clarity, sake, let's do them again. Season 1 adapted roughly 61 chapters in 24 episodes, which comes out to about 2.5 chapters per episode. Season 2 adapted roughly 23 chapters in 11 episodes, which comes out to just over 2 chapters per episode. Then we had the Ryusui special, which was about the length of 2 episodes and adapted roughly 5 chapters, i.e. 2.5 chapters per episode. Now, the two questions everyone has been asking is where will they end Season 3, and how many cores will it be? First, let's start by looking at where one core would take us. If Season 3 is only one core, it would end somewhere between the characters arriving at Treasure Island and the backstory of Amaryllis. That could work, or rather, it could have worked before they announced that Season 3 is titled New World. They are literally marketing Season 3 as the season they go to Treasure Island, so to do that and be like, alright, we're here, see you in Season 4, bye! That'd be a tease, to say the least. So we can assume that Season 3 will be at least one core. Now, we could get into, well, will it be another full core? Will it just be a few more episodes? But given how this arc is structured, I really don't see them not doing two full cores. So let's do the math and figure out where Season 3 will actually end. If Season 3 is 24 episodes, and TMS keeps the pacing roughly the same, then it could end somewhere between the end of the final fight and right after the characters arrive at the next country. Personally, here's what I think is going to happen. TMS and whoever else is in charge seem keen on making these special episodes in between seasons. Alright, so just follow me. If Season 3 ended at the end of Chapter 141, that would mean they could adapt the poker battle and the overseas trip in another one hour special and adapt about five chapters just like they did last time. This would also fall in line with how they generally start and end seasons. Season 1 and Season 2 ended with the characters coming together like, alright, we're ready for what's ever coming next. Season 2 and the Ryusui special started with the characters road mapping and figuring out what they needed to do next. And what do you know, 141 ends with the characters coming together, and 142 starts with them making a massive roadmap. So given all of the overwhelming evidence, it seems pretty clear that this is how Season 3 will go down. It will start right where the Ryusui special ended, possibly with a recap episode, and it will end by adapting everything up through Chapter 141. For anime-only fans, this means you'll get to see all of Treasure Island. For manga fans, we know exactly who we're gonna see, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. And of course, once Season 3 drops, the Dr. Stone anime will be trending every day on Twitter, and the community will be more active in 2023 than they ever have been before. If you're sensing just a hint of sarcasm in that statement, then congratulations, you are an ace detective. You could literally solve mysteries with Suika. But seriously, Season 3 is definitely going to be hype, and I do think it's going to be the most talked about spring anime. However, there's a bit of a problem once Season 3 ends. But before I explain what that is, make sure to like the video if you've been enjoying it so far. It's the easiest way to support the channel, and it helps spread the video to even more Dr. Stone fans. Now, here's the problem. Let's say Season 3 is going to be 24 episodes. It starts in April, so that puts us right about in September when it ends. Okay, that leaves the fall and winter of 2023 with no Dr. Stone content. So on the plus side, half of 2023 is Dr. Stone season, but on the downside, the last four months will be completely dry. Which is actually kind of depressing when you realize that there's always at least a year in between seasons. Actually, it's more like two years. Season 1 ended in 2019, and Season 2 didn't start until 2021. And now, here we are in 2023. So, I'm already kind of stressed out about the fall because there's a solid chance we'll just end the season with no new content besides a Season 4 announcement for something like 2025. 
but that's just me stressing out about the worst case scenario. Because if we look at the last two seasons, as well as the Ryusui special, they've always been accompanied by some kind of manga content. Of course, when season 2 ended, we still had the manga running. When the Ryusui special aired, we had the special manga chapter release right before it. And for those of you who remember, we had the reboot releasing chapters on a weekly basis from October all the way through December while season 1 was airing. So when we consider all that, it's actually pretty reasonable to expect some kind of content to accompany season 3. The first option that comes to my mind is another new chapter of the manga. For anyone who isn't caught up on the manga, just skip to this point in the video. Now, if you recall, that chapter ends with Senku stating that they had made some progress on the Time Machine project, but some of the materials they need can't be found on Earth. So, to move the project one step forward, they need to terraform other planets. And the chapter ended right when they were about to make a roadmap. Now, the logical conclusion as far as why the chapter ended right here is as simple as Inakaki not having one. I mean, terraforming other planets isn't exactly a matter of common sense, so one can imagine he probably needed to do some research before he could write a chapter about it. The reason I feel we can expect another one of these chapters is really just because it seems like a no-brainer. I mean, everyone liked the last one. They set up that last one so that it perfectly transitions into the next part of this mission. And Inagaki and Boichi have been pretty quiet for a while now, so it kind of feels like they might have been keeping quiet in the workshop. That's just my take anyway. And on the same note, let's take that one step further. So, we haven't really heard from Inagaki or Boichi for a while now. Okay, so one reason could be they've been working on a new chapter, but it's been a good chunk of time since they've really announced anything. If I'm not mistaken, we really haven't heard any official announcements from them since we got the Ryusui special, which was back in July. Now obviously, we know Inagaki has been busy working on Trillion Game, but if you know anything about Inagaki, you know he's a bit like Hiro Mashima. He tends to work on more than one project at a time. But aside from that, he really hasn't made any Dr. Stone related announcements since July. And Boichi has also been very quiet for a while now. They haven't made any new manga announcements during this time as far as I know. So when I look at this big gap we've had, I immediately think, okay, kinda seems like a new Dr. Stone spinoff. I mean, the two of them working on a new spin-off would explain why they've been quiet for so long. Plus, with the Dr. Stone manga finished, it'd be perfect timing if they repeat what they did during Season 1. Now, as far as what the spin-off would be, I think there's one choice that stands out pretty clearly. That, of course, being a Ryusui spin-off. The people in charge seem pretty confident in their ability to sell off Ryusui after marketing the last special episode entirely around his character. And rightfully so, considering he's been like top 3 in popularity polls ever since his introduction. Plus, think about the timing. When the Byakuya reboot was releasing, that was right around the time we got the Byakuya flashback in Season 1. And this is the New World season of Doctor Stone. So it would be perfect timing, because then they could be like, hey, if you like Ryusui in the anime, then you should check out this brand new Dr. Stone spinoff all about him. Plus, it would be perfect for anime-only fans, because obviously it would be a prequel focusing on all of the rich lore surrounding the Nanami conglomerate, as well as the backstory between Ryusui and at least one other character. If they could do that, then at least they would be super packing the time we're actually getting Dr. Stone content. And I say that because as much as some of us would love it to be otherwise, this spin-off would almost definitely only be one volume. So that's my sort of prediction for Dr. Stone going forward. The new season will start in early April, probably like the first week. It'll consist of two full cores, ending right towards the end of Treasure Island. Unfortunately, we'll probably be hitting another dry spell starting in the fall. But over the course of Season 3, we could potentially be receiving two new sources of Dr. Stone manga content. One in the form of a new chapter in the Dr. Stone epilogue, and or a new Dr. Stone spin-off that will likely focus on Ryusui's backstory before the events of Dr. Stone. If I'm right, then we will probably see an entirely new generation of the community as more people become Dr. Stone fans. And 2023 could be one of the best years we've ever had of Dr. Stone. But what do you think? What are you expecting for Dr. Stone in 2023? Share your thoughts and say what everyone else has to say down in the comments. I'll pick my favorite and share it as comment of the week in the next video. And if you'd like another Dr. Stone discussion like this one, then make sure to check out my review of Dr. Stone 232. 
you can find it in the playlist linked right here. Until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.